Mmm, are these the best ice cream sundaes in the world or not, huh? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Real good. Want a bite? Oh, no, no. Sweetie, I better not. It's really good, Aunt Mia. You should have one every day. Oh, uh, Dave McKayward's here. Wonder how his baby's doing. I just, uh, saw with Anna. I mean, they look okay, but I'll check. Hold on, excuse me. Well, it's a, uh, Maggie's surprise turned that well. Yeah. Hey, what's up with you today? What do you mean? Well, no, you just seem... You seem distant all evening. Um... I lied to you today. I did tell you that Sammy's with Isabella tonight. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh, but please, don't think that, that... I don't. What am I not thinking? That I'm trying to engineer some sort of a, um... Yeah? When I told Liza that I wanted to spend some time with you alone, it wasn't because I wanted to. God, I could strangle her. I think it was very sweet of her. You did? Yeah. And I'm sorry that you're not, you know, up for the idea. Oh, no, Edmund. It's not that I'm not. Then you are? Oh. You're messing with my head. We're not ready. As tempting as it sounds. But it's something to look forward to. Okay, we're off. And hopefully you guys will have something that you can find to do by yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna hop on a midnight flight to Vegas. Yeah. No, not really. No, no. But thank you for taking Maddie. That's great. Just give me a little warning next time. Sure. So next time we can yeah. really go to Vegas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I will miss you. Don't worry, Daddy. Liza says she has extra makeup and toothbrush. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, Bye. go slow. Bye. Bye. So, what do we do now? Vegas? What are you doing here so late? Well, I could ask you the same question. You should lock the door when you're working here alone at this hour. Marion was here with me. Uh, we we stopped by your house. Winifred said that, that you were still at the, working at the office. Yes, I guess we're both working late hours these days. Yeah, well, I have an exhibit coming up. <laughs> What's your excuse? I run a multi-million dollar conglomerate. Yeah. And it's not really much fun being in that big house all alone, is it? Why, why don't you come to supper sometime? Why don't you invite me? <laughs> Stuart, what is this stuff? People actually pay money? We're having an outsider exhibit. We're for emerging artists. Emerging from what? Looks like something that Colby made. Why don't you buy something? Maybe, maybe it'll cheer you up. What makes you think I need cheering up? We didn't come over here just to check out the exhibit, did you? <laughs> no, you're right. I, I came over here because you're the only family I have left, Stuart. You know what? I'll get the drop cloth and we'll have an indoor camp out. My mom makes the best time out of blankets and chairs. I'm going to have a great time sleeping over for your house. Kendall. Hi. Uh, why are those kids still up? What are they doing here? Uh, girls, um, you know what? Why don't you go to the storage room back there? And we have these big pots of lip gloss you can look at. Makeup! <laughs> Hi.
So, you know you're not supposed to sleep at your desk. Look, our company is in serious legal trouble. I'm not gonna leave until I know what the hell's going on. You know we're gonna face all this in court, Kendall. Think about it, Liza. Th this woman who claims that uh, she can't taste salt because of her lip color, she's 74 years old. Well, I know it's not exactly our target demo. Well, what'd you do, stick a spoon in it and eat it? Look, I'm just saying that all this paperwork and the lawsuit will be here in the morning. Okay, now, why don't you just go? I can't concentrate with you here. Hey, what, what's really going on? I really don't want to tell you. Why? Because I really, really screwed up. And I never should have told Greenlee about it. Greenlee, do you know? No, it wasn't her. It, it was me. I would... I was trying to save Fusion. I mean, this company is my future. And well, who said it wasn't? And, and, and I, I, I wanted to help Michael. I, I, was, I was trying to take care of everything at once, and I, I, I totally messed up. But... All right, all right. Okay. Well, what does Michael have to do with Fusion? Oh, I, I really can't explain right now. It's just that I love Michael so much, and he loves me. Haven't you ever done something that you know is so totally wrong out of love? I sure have. But, but what is Greenlee? So you understand? What? D doing anything for love, going to any extreme. Well, yeah, I yeah, okay. guess. See, you get it. You get it. You're passionate. You're a passionate woman. Greenlee, Greenlee, she's, she, she, she's an ice queen. I mean, she, she doesn't get any of this. Um, but Kendall... You know what? She is jealous of me. That's what it is. She is so completely jealous of me because I have love in my life and I know how to love completely. Well, where are you going? I'm gonna go find Michael. I'm gonna go find him and tell him how much he means to me. Thank you, Liza. Thank you so much for your advice. You're the best. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, whatever. Families moved away doesn't mean you've lost them. Haley calls every week. I don't know if she's ever going to visit me again. And Colby? God, I miss her. Adam, you're not, you're not going to get that way again, are you? What are you talking about? But you know when you thought I was dead? When, when I had the accident? How could I forget? Well, the way you got. You, you turned into somebody that was that was hurtful and, and mean. Promise me you're not going to get that way again. It's the darkest period of my life, Stuart. Until now. Adam, how can you say that? Everyone you love is happy and alive. Isn't that what you want for them? I don't think Jr. is too happy right now. JR's having the experience of a lifetime right now. I know you hate that. Um, and I hate to see you hurting, but I, what can I do? Yeah, tell me the truth. Have you heard from JR? Like I said, why am I here? Well, um, actually, I need a favor. No, oh, here we go. What kind of favor? Do you still have your private investigator's license? Oh, my. God, what are you using? Cigarette butts? I could dust it off. Just about Adam. Well, um, you see, I have this scenario that I think might be kind of your speed. Go on. You've heard about the lawsuit that Fusion is facing. Yeah. The woman claims he lost her she lost her taste for salt. Right. She's blaming our lip color. Well, as much as I'd hate to lose my taste for potato chips, it does sound rather bogus. Well, we offered her a sizable settlement. She won't consider it. Oh. Ergo, you're afraid she's going to humiliate your company and uh, drag Fusion into court? 
Apparently, the question I have is why. Okay. I can uh, certainly make a few calls. Thank you. Mm. You know, I knew I could count on you. Oh, no, get mm. cocky. <laughs> Whatever happens, it's got to be better than sparring with Adam. Well, yeah, no, that, those were my thoughts exactly. <laughs> well, let's see what we can find out. Yes, I did get a letter from JR. When? This morning. Yours probably hadn't arrived yet. Because he never sent it. It's just that he needs time, Adam. What did he say? Well, he said uh, that he's, he's, he's in the South Pacific and, uh, and, and, and he's working real hard. That's it. That's, that's not very specific. Well, uh, I... Adam, I can't. I, I promised J.R. I wouldn't. He's my son. You can't... He's my nephew. And he trusts me. Stuart, I swear, I... Oh, hello, Adam. Trying to drive away yet another family this member? It doesn't concern you, Marion. Stuart? Oh, uh, it was getting late. And, and, and I got worried about you. Oh, I was just finishing up here. Marion, do you know what J.R.'s letter said? Yes, I did. It was addressed to both of us, and it was private, Adam. So don't even bother. Is he in danger? No, 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 nothing like that. Then what? You don't know when to quit, Adam, do you? Will you stop badgering Stuart, or we're gonna walk away from you like every other member of your family has done? Marion, don't. Please, don't. Never mind, Stuart. I was just leaving. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> George, please don't look like that. Like what? Guilty. J.R. specifically asked us not to tell Adam where he was. I just, I can't, I just can't do this to Adam. I can't. I've got to get you. Sure, please. We, we said we would hold honor what he wanted us to do. Mr. C., am I interrupted? Carlos. Hey, come in. Come in. I've, I've been looking for you. Uh, did, did you get my message? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't want to call you back. It's just I've been busy with work and... And, you know... Something's bothering you, isn't it? What did Jimmy say? He gave me a couple connections at the bank to call her, get a better picture of this woman's financial situation. I'm trying to figure out why she would pass on such a healthy settlement. Okay. <laughs> So, what are you waiting for? Oh, I say it's the middle of the night. These people will be closed. I'll call first thing in the morning. But I do have a friend at the courthouse I can call, try to get an idea whether or not she's got other, you know, litigation pending. And then I've got my friend Earl. Like, can... what are you smiling at? Oh, it's just kind of, kind of neat you being all passionate about this PI stuff. Liza, other than a motorcycle ride with Lysistrata, my life is pretty barren. Lysistrata? Yeah. I bet you didn't know your therapist rides a hog, did you? No. You were on a motorcycle? Yeah. Imagine that. If you'll excuse me, I gotta get home and take my brand home. Well, is this like a, a, a date? I wouldn't qualify it as such. But, you know, we did have a connection. So, wait, wait, the two of you are kind of, um, together? Kind of having a thing? Or... I don't know. Hmm. I'll find out and call you, okay? Okay. Um... Thanks for the excitement. <laughs> Maddie, Colby, come on, get ready. We're gonna go. One more minute. Okay. Green lead. I will never, ever, as long as I live, help someone again. Said one of the world's great humanitarians. <sighs> okay, I guess you uh, ran into Kendall. How'd you know? Um, I saw her here earlier. So, she told you what happened? You know, not exactly. What are you doing here at the office anyway? Uh, well, actually, that's a, a long story. Where, where is the Kendall now? With Michael. It all backfired. Uh, how? I got up in her business when I should have been minding my own. She really let me have it. But you meant well. Or did I? Kendall basically said that I'm a cold witch who needs to get a life. Well, that, that's harsh. And Michael said that Leo's death has made me better. Greenlee, that's just cruel. And the worst part of it is, every single word they said is the truth. Oh, Adam, we, we were just leaving. 
I, uh, came to apologize to you, Stuart, and to you, Marion. I need to respect JR's wishes. And yours. Apology accepted. Good night, Adam. Adam. Adam, um, before you go, I think you should read this. Oh, no, Stuart, it... It's from JR. Dear Uncle Stuart and Aunt Marion, I'm writing to you from the Marshall Islands. It's amazing here. Being on this ship is the best decision I've ever made. The work is hard, and I'm wiped by bedtime, but I'm learning to get by on my own. I miss you guys a lot, but the weird thing is, I miss my dad the most. Please don't tell him that. I don't want him to do something stupid, like try to find me. Remember to kiss Colby for me, love, JR. Thank you. Are you gonna do what he asks? You won't do anything stupid? <laughs> JR's where he needs to be. And Colby and Haley. They're all exactly where they need to be. Why don't you call the elevator, and I'll be right there. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna be all right? You need a ride, or...? No, no, have fun. And thanks for putting Tad on our lawsuit. Yeah, well, hopefully, uh, we'll have good news by tomorrow. I know you're pulling for us, Liza. It's Kendall I'm worried about. People sometimes have to make their own mistakes. I mean, remember, sometimes the only person you can save is yourself. Yeah. I know that now. What'd you find out about the lawsuit at Fusion? Well, that's it? No flirtation? No foreplay? You're not even gonna buy me dinner you just expect me to put out? I'll tell you what, I will talk to you about dinner. And you tell me everything you know. What is the scoop? Come on. How's this? Looks like your plaintiff, Miss Stark, made a five-figure deposit in her savings account right after she slapped Fusion with that lawsuit. A payoff? Looks like it. She's never deposited anything larger than a Social Security check for this. I knew she was paid to sue us. Yeah. Looks to me like somebody's out to destroy Fusion without getting their own hands dirty. Yeah, but who did it? And why? For thank you so much. You have totally turned this around for us. Thanks again. That was Alfred Vanderpool at the bank. He hasn't been able to tell you no since high school. Big deal. Are you jealous? Little. Oh, Alfred? Yeah, you're flirting with him, not me. No, you really are impossible. Yeah, and you love every second. Okay, you know what? We've got work to do, because Alfred told me that the money was wired into Gertrude Stark's account from a bank in the Cayman Islands. Did he give you a name or an account number? No, he said he was going to look into it, and he would fax us the information. Wow. If I didn't know better, I'd swear that good old Alfred was trying to impress you. Oh, come on, stop. That can't be right. I guess it makes total sense. So. No. I mean, well, why try to crush a little startup like uh, Fusion? One reason, and the name is Kendall Hart. Kendall? Where, where, where are you going? I have to deal with this. Yeah, what about my uh, dinner? You'll get your dinner. You can play your cards right. I might even throw in dessert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Adam, hi. Ted was just uh, helping me with the project. Oh, no. No need to explain. I was just surprised to hear your voice since you're no longer with the company. Oh, it's all right. I mean, all this corporate secrets are still safe. He was just helping me with something for uh, Fusion. I, I guess I should repay you for company time. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be silly. I'm glad Ted could help. How are things going over there? Rocky. Um, but we'll turn it around. 
I have no doubt of it. Well, don't want to interrupt. Oh, no, you weren't interrupting. I was, I was done. Um, I was leaving. I'll be seeing you later when I come to pick up Colby for the weekend. Yes, she's looking forward to it. So am I. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Bye. Uh, I'll be out of your way in a couple minutes. No hurry. Excuse me. Yes, Mr. Chairman. I have a job for you. And it has to be done quickly. Come on. Mr. Martin, this is for you. For me? It's my coffee mug. I was told to clear out your office. By whom? By me. Should have known. I guess all that grace in front of Liza was a fake, right? Yes, you should have known. But you've been very slow in the uptake lately, Tad. It just proves how totally useless you really are. I think your soon-to-be ex-wife would disagree. She's no longer with this company. Unless her opinion has a no, lot... No, 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 don't interrupt me. Please, please, please. I, I, I've been waiting a long time for this. And I want to savor it. I want you to take this little box of junk and get out. Because you're fired. job you quit no I've changed my mind I'm staying too late no it's not yes it is look do you want to run fusion out of a booth on front street I run this company out of a shoebox huh. good luck because without me you don't have this building uh try again Kendall we have a lease nope Palmer leased the building to me not fusion and you'd yank it out from under us if you don't get your job back that's just so like you you know what? It's not my idea. It's Palmer's. He said if we don't work out our differences, he's going to cancel the lease and sell the building. Fine. Let him. What? I don't need Palmer, I don't need this building, and I sure as hell don't need you. I never did. This partnership has been a disaster from the beginning. What is Kendall accusing me of now? Erica, really, it would be a lot easier if you just dropped the act. What act? What is this? It's proof. Of what? That you hired Gertrude Stark to file a false lawsuit against Fusion for millions of dollars. Oh, that's outrageous. You're not going to get away with this. Get away with what? Uh, please, don't, don't, would you just go? Just get out now. Erica, I'm not going anywhere. You could do your best, but you're not going to beat us. Us? I'm a part of Fusion now, so I really want you to hear me. You're not dealing with just your daughter. You're dealing with me now. Liza, are you feeling all right? Yes, I'm in perfect health, and I'm more than ready to fight you. Liza, the only battle is in your head. Look, this is not a figment of my imagination. Everything's been verified. Just take a look at it. There's a money trail from Enchantment to the Cayman Islands to the plaintiff's bank account. I have no idea what you're talking about. And, and uh, this would be so much trouble. Why would I go to this kind of trouble for Fusion? Why did you undermine Fusion to Lacey's? Why did you send your staffers to the Fusion party? Why do you keep tabs on everything Fusion does? That is just good business. Oh, are we a threat that you want eliminated? All I have to do for Fusion to fail is wait. Why don't you explain to me the money transfers? I can't. I, I have no idea what this is about. 
But there certainly must be a logical explanation. Find out. Yes, this is Erica. Put me through to Lena. Where is she? All right, page her and tell her to get back to me. It's urgent. She should get back to me ASAP. Look. Liza, if there is a snake in enchantment, nobody wants to find this snake more than I do. What if you don't find one? Oh, I am going to get to the bottom of this. Well, you know, to me, I feel like I already have. Because legally, that looks like you're in a world of trouble. Fusion's attorneys will be in contact with you. I'm not being sued? You convinced Gertrude Stark to settle. I did better than that. We got the goods on her. Uh, uh, well, what's to know? I mean, she's some old crone with zero scruples. What have you got on her? No, how did you get it? We used Tad's PI skills, and we discovered that she was almost broke before she filed the lawsuit. Suing us was her get-rich-quick scheme? Actually, she's already rich. The day she filed the lawsuit, a whole lot of money was deposited into her bank account. Uh, I don't get it. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Somebody paid her to sue us? That's right. Did you track the deposit? To the Cayman Islands. Whoever wired the money was very careful not to be caught. Uh-huh. So who's the sleaze? Enchantment. What? No way. I, mean, I don't believe it. Erica. Wait, how? Erica's behind this? How did she come after us? No, she's not after us. She's after me. This is all my fault. This whole mess. I cannot believe that Erica will go this far. It is not your fault, Kendall, okay? You are not responsible for whatever warped trip your mother is on. Yes, she is. Kendall busts Erica's chops every chance she gets. This is Erica's payback. She's taking it out on our company. Our company? Wait a minute. I'm confused here. I thought you were out of here. I built Fusion. Oh, with a little help. And there's no way I'm going to let Erica bury us. Ah, so you're staying. Oh, yes. And what about you? She's going. Wait a minute. Kendall's a magnet for the kind of trouble we don't need. That is so unfair. No, you know what? Greenlee's right. Erica is not after you guys. She's after me. I'll help you clear your stuff. What's left of it? You can't just leave, Kendall. Uh, what about Palmer? I'll convince Palmer to lease the building to Fusion. I don't care about the building. I care about Fusion. I care about you. We need you. No, you guys don't need this. You don't. <laughs> Erica is after me, and there's no stopping her. Well, we can at least try. No, first, it was shelf space at Lacey's. Now it's a multi-million dollar lawsuit. I mean, what's next? Erica, she, she's out to get me. I'm not going to let her bring Fusion down with me. Good idea. Fusion's not going anywhere, and neither is Kendall. Look, I've made some calls. I've put some things into action. We can fight, Erica. We can win this. It'll be easier without me. Are you going to run away? Liz, I'm not running away. Because that's what Erica wants you to do. Yeah, how can you bail right now when we actually have a chance to kick some major cane booty? Well, when you put it like that... When Erica came after you, she came after all of us. It is going to take all of us to beat her. Yes. Come on, Kendall. You're like an expert on Erica's down-and-dirty tactics. I do have the scars to prove it. Is that a yes? <sighs> all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. Greenlee? What do you say? I want to stop Erica, no matter what it takes. If that means Kendall stays, then Kendall stays. Hmm. We are going to make Erica sorry she ever came after us. I hope so. You sure we can win this? I guarantee it. You sound pretty confident. Trust me, the situation with Erica is being handled even as we speak. 